It has come to my attention that Andrew's behaviour is deteriorating at school. Our behaviour tracking system has identified several lessons. I am particularly concerned about Andrew's mathematics, dance, art and language lessons where he seems to be causing disruption to the learning of others. I am disappointed to report that there has not been an improvement in Andrew's behaviour and attitude in mathematics, dance, art and language lessons. If I had carried on what I would like, I would have probably been excluded. When I first got here in year seven, it was like okay for the first three, four months. And basically after that, it just like went downhill. Shut up, Kieran! Didn't, didn't pick up in year eight, even until I went on mentor scheme. Low level disruption is really the bane of, of a teacher's life. The, the serious incidents that take place, there's usually something in place to deal with them. The low level stuff, it's constant, it chips away, it tires the teacher, it, it disturbs the lessons. Uh, and getting these low-level constant disruptors, if you can get them more positive, more settled, then the whole lesson flows more smoothly. Part of the issue that we find is that students find it hard to access learning for a variety of reasons. Boys, particularly, find it hard to concentrate. Come on in, come on. in maths, all I was doing was like talking too much, not listening to teacher. Andrew was what I would call a bit of a, a growler and a scowler. He would look down all the time and scowl at everybody all the time. And he would be so looking for a constant that. argument. Oh, stupid. There was a student that kept annoying me and always, like, shouting out answers. And so I was just telling him, like, shut up and swearing at him. In the end, I had to sort of sit him on his own, isolate him, keep him away from the other kids, and I was constantly having to tell him to just leave it, Andrew, leave it. He'd, he'd be picking up what we'd call negative marks, he'd be picking up virtually every lesson. But you can't put your head up if it's already up, OK? Dance, I didn't... I just didn't really get on with teacher. He wasn't overtly naughty. Uh, his pe behaviour was quite... not particularly sly, but... It just caught you on that radar level. From year seven, he made minimal progress as he moved into year eight. Uh, year eight, he was physically bigger, so he had more of a presence in the lesson. Basically, I'd just be wanting not to do what I was told and doing the complete opposite. Okay. I don't get that. I didn't get any of that. There's a gradual progression of letters, so you'd send the standard letter to inform the parents that all was not well. Uh, you'd then inform the parents that the behaviour was, in fact, not improving. We'd then inform the parents that he was then going to be on report. I think I got, like, nine letters in three months. At home, it was, like, it was a whole high tension, if you know what I mean, like... I'd walk in, like, expect another letter or phone call. Well, I wouldn't be. My mum would. I can remember him coming home one day and me actually being in one of these phone calls. He just walked in the room halfway through this phone call as I'm being told that Andrew's done this, Andrew's done that, and you don't really know what to say because you need him there to tell him what's happened, but you can see from the look on your face that it's bad news. I was just like, I'm not bothered what she says, I'm just going to say, I'm just going to do no and just walk past her. Just didn't know what to do for the best, just completely helpless and, and useless, really, because I just didn't know how to change it. Peer mentoring, I thought like, oh, this is just going to be another wasted effort, like, it's not going to work, it's just going to be wasted, no point doing it. I was shocked in a way as well, like, why have they picked me? Am I that bad? How do I do it? We felt that the impetus that would, would really move Andrew was talking to other boys about 
the difficulties they'd had and providing him with some of the strategies that they'd learned to deal with their problems. <laughs> we had a variety of matching exercises uh, which would hopefully provide us with a, an objective view of what might be the best way of, of putting boys together. That one goes underneath it. The matching process was very important in that uh, we knew that it was always down to a pair in terms of how successful the mentoring would be. And in the end, Andrew and Gareth really did gravitate towards one another. That needs to be put on the bottom of that, on the yellow, uh, yeah, you can't see it. Gareth was one of the boys who uh, I actually identified as, as being an ideal mentor because slower down the school, particularly in years seven and eight, he'd been on the receiving, receiving end of some bullying. And throughout his time in year nine and ten, he really grew as an individual. One of the wheels. Yeah. The hardest part about being a peer mentor was the fact that I didn't know what was going to happen and I didn't know whether Andrew was going to take anything from me and whether it was going to work. That was the hardest thing for me, actually getting to know Andrew and to get him to work together properly. I expect him to, like, like I tell him something, then he'll go and tell, like, Mr Knowles or Mr Woodward or someone like that. That's where I first thought he'd be like, but it turned out I don't like that. That way, yeah. He was supportive and always wanting to help. Mentoring happened once a week. It was always on, tw always on Tuesdays at lunchtime for 15 minutes. And the mentoring would uh, enable students to, to be together on a regular basis, but also throughout the week in formal sessions that enabled real close relationships to develop between the mentor and the mentee. First, he was very scared. He didn't really know what to make of it, but after, he really did get into it. He really did build up his confidence in the way he spoke to people. His attitude towards me weren't so restless and so like, oh, this is not going to work type of thing. We're going to use our target day sheet. We're focusing on our negative and positive points, and then we're setting some targets. For Every mentoring session, the boys would complete a, a report form or a, an audit sheet, which would identify what they discussed, some of the outcomes of those discussions, some of the targets that had been set, and providing students with, a, with an opportunity to achieve those targets. Gareth would have all my negative points and plus points on a sheet, and then would discuss them, figure out solutions, like give me advice on how to behave in lessons and don't get stressed. All right, so let's set some targets for your lessons then. Let's look at the review sheet. The counting to ten rule, like, helped me quite a bit through getting through the lesson. Like, someone annoys me, count to ten. Someone else annoys me, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counting to ten really did help him. I noticed that because when we was in a mentoring session, if we spoke about a target and he didn't think it would work, he would just shut up for 10 seconds, something like that, and then start again. And are you going to do what we discussed about leaving the lesson, taking a five minute breather to calm yourself down? Yeah, but if it don't work, then I'm just going to go, go out and just keep going. Five minute strategy would basically go and stand outside in fresh air, clear your head, get yourself sorted out, then go back in ready to learn. The five minute rule he came up with himself because with his anger and things like that, in the lesson he did use to mouth back, get slightly stressed with it. So the five minute rule he said, I'll stand at the back of class, just go out, ask the teacher to have a break. So obviously your teacher understands that you can do well, you just need to show that you can yeah. get used to it, the lesson. There was also the other one where he wrote all his feelings down just to, you know, get him out of his head, get him out of his system so he didn't think about them so much. I didn't think they were going to work at all until I tried them. 50, 33, 25, 16 and 8, and that's why like dramatic drop. There was people with higher negative points, but they were only going down like two or three. Mine went down like 10, 11 points over a period of terms. Uh, you've received an achievement postcard and you got it from Matt. It says that you've had a huge improvement on your attitude. So obviously you've, you've improved on that department. You are now working well and concentrating in class. Keep it up and well done. He actually began to pick up many positive behaviour points as well and the comments that were able to be transferred and communicated to home really did raise the way he felt about himself and his self-esteem. His overall behaviour, everything changed the way he was, even with his sister. 
the way he, when he came through the door, how he spoke to people. Um, no more letters from school. That got that was one good thing. Uh, no phone calls. I felt relieved in a way because at least now my mum could like be calm and and I could actually start talking to him when I came through the door. As the process of peer mentoring went on, you you could see a, a gradual change in him. He became calmer and he wasn't looking at the other kids and he wasn't watching them all the time to, to have a chip away at them. He actually started to make progress because he wasn't constantly being knocked back, constantly being told off, and he was actually being positive about the lesson. That's an interesting way to start it, but it works. It's all right, he's just working from the other side, isn't he? Yeah. Absolutely right, that's the green view, thank you. I sort of answered more questions and got more stuff right and thought about things more. Three, four, six, and I wasn't spending as much time with him in the lesson. Um, he seemed to be um, involved more. Maybe he didn't actually realise himself at the time um, because it wouldn't have been one of his favourite subjects. Uh, but I would hope that he, he would see it on his timetable and not think, oh, no, not, not that awful dance lesson again. He would, you know, and maybe it's changed his perception of um, looking at different subjects and being a little bit more open-minded. The behaviour points really gave us something that was quantifiable in terms of an improvement in behaviour and attitude, which was really why the programme started in the first place. And Andrew really was the, the student who was the, the leading light in terms of the progress he'd made. He'd made the, the biggest reduction in negative points. He'd won two of the termly awards. He was able actually to identify a real change to the way he was approaching school and life generally. I did think that Andrew made a massive success and I was really proud of him as well. Not just myself, I was proud of him and that we worked as a team and we really, really pulled through it together. It made me feel better about myself because I was like getting awarded for doing good stuff and being more me than my old me. Come you, boss. He eventually felt confident enough to get himself a paper round. He gets himself up every morning and he goes and does the paper round. And now he even takes the dog that we've got, which I can trust Andrew to look after, and that was part of the reason we got him. He's just totally changed. I can't tell you how much he's just a different lad. Andrew isn't now part of the, the mentoring programme. He doesn't need that additional support. He's learned the strategies that he needs to have to deal with disruption, to manage his own behaviour, to manage his emotions so that he gets less stressed, less distracted and distracting in lessons. And he's really an independent lad making great progress now. We're really pleased with him. The mentor scheme helped me and I wanted to give something back to other kids. Like, so I'll think about being one of their mentors. It uh, gave me a boost, so I, I want to get that boost back. Mm -hmm.